What's going on guys? Ancient Gravity here and today we are on the Arts channel. We are going to jump on the part 2 of the Super Saiyan 4 and the Great Ape drawing that we did in our last video. Today we are going to paint that and I hope you guys will enjoy the video. Talk to you in a couple of seconds. So right here we have started painting the Super Saiyan 4 fur in red. Just like in the previous video you will find all the items that I'm using throughout the session in the video description below. By the way guys, if you are new to the channel and like the content that I'm bringing so far and you would like to see even more in the future, consider hitting that subscribe button beneath this video. Also adding some red color to the great ape's eyes. Let's start adding the black color to Goku's hair. And we're switching to yellow to paint the Grey Apes fur. Also adding a darker yellow to Goku's pants.
We're starting to add the level of detail starting with a dark brown and then a brown color to simulate the shadow on uh, Goku's clothing. Same goes with the brighter areas of Goku's wrists and legs bands as well as the belt which are going to be a lighter blue and a lighter turquoise color. Adding the great ape fur shadows. While the new color that we've added to the Great Ape's fur is drying, let's switch to Goku's and paint the light areas. Adding the Great Ape fur details as well.
Now adding a dark red to Goku Sphere to simulate the shadows. Now let's start a really bright pink color to the great apes face and hands and then like previously we will start getting that color to a darker version of it and add the details on the great apes face and hands.
adding a real dark blue here A grey color for light areas on Goku's hair. We will add different levels of grey and white colors to the moon to make the details on it. and different levels of blue colors to paint the clouds around the moon. adding white dots for the stars Here is where things got a little bit tricky for me as I was not familiar with the skin colors and I had to figure out how to mix the colors in order to reproduce it. In the end we got the colors right after mixing up some yellow and red and then add some white or black uh, depending on the areas that we're painting.
The contrast between the dark yellow color on the great apes fur and the white on the canvas was too sudden so I started adding up different levels of yellow to simulate a fade out effect. So it took me a lot of time to decide what to do behind the great ape because the way it was it was too empty and then I decided to do like a little starry sky similar to what we have around the moon like a little universe. Here is where we started using a Faber Castell marker which is a water based marker and its tip is like a brush you can use on canvas. It's really nice because it allows you to draw the contour without any uh, mistakes and without having your color spilled all over the place. And of course the signature and today's date. Alright guys, so we have reached the end of part 2 in which we've painted the Super Saiyan for Goku and the Great Ape. Uh, we did like a little uh, universe behind the Great Ape and then down here the moon. Uh, which was really required in order for Goku to uh, get into the Great Ape form and then uh, transform into the Super Saiyan uh, 4 over here. As you can see down here I've put the signature with today's date uh, and that's all about it. I will uh, show this into the camera because I believe it doesn't fit entirely when I hold it uh, right here. Guys, there are a few things that I want to throw out as tips for you to use in, in case you want to uh, draw and paint something on canvas. Since uh, there aren't a lot of ways for you to erase the mistakes that you're doing on canvas, uh, try to do a sketch before drawing on the canvas itself. In my case, uh, my sketch was this one over here. As you can see, I've put together three uh, A4... Um, papers there you go uh, and the last but not least a uh, white pen in my case this was the uh, I don't know if you can see it. this was the uniball uh, white pen it's from Mitsubishi from what I can see here and the color it's called angelic color so yeah you can use this on your canvas uh, whenever you do mistakes and uh, I don't know uh, correct those and continue with your drawing guys I hope you like today's video uh, this will be my first uh, full completed paint on canvas to say like that see you in our next drawing slash painting video until the next time Anchin Gravity the art signing out